one of the things we're going to have to do is rebuild this slide and fix some of the damage that's occurred due to some water leaks. So I'm gonna have to remove the whole thing, pull it out of the camper, and start trying to assess what kind of water damage is done uh, in the walls and in the flooring. I know that this wall here with the kitchen sink is, you can see a soft spot there that uh, it's just rotten. What had happened was it appeared there was some uh, a leak up above the window on the outside. It was running down the wall and causing some damage in there. So I'm gonna have to remove this couch so I can get some of the weight out of there and eventually remove all of this trim and the facing on this so I can pull the slide out and start rebuilding stuff. Everything's rotten. And you can probably see under there what kind of mess we're looking at. So this is probably gonna have to all come out to at least to the range over here and we'll see how that goes. So on the bottom of the couch, there are these fasteners that go across this front. It's more like a trim piece that just kind of hides all the mess up under there. So we're gonna pull this off and see what we can expose underneath there and see what we need to do to get the couch removed. I'm making a little progress here. I had to unbolt these two cushions, the back and the bottom from this little scissor bracket here on the side it just has two nuts on each one uh, on both sides. I mean, this thing is completely rotted out. I don't know what to do about getting this fixed. Nothing will really slide and everything's rotten. So I'm gonna try to fit it back together and see what I can do to get that rolling the way it needs to. But that's just kind of a little update to where we are right now. I've unbolted this scissor bracket here from the bottom of the, from this base. So I should be able to, you can see there, get this entire thing out, which will expose this whole piece here. So I have the brackets out now and you can really see what kind of damage we're looking at here. We've got a significant slant here where stuff's just rotted out, the weight's pushing down on it. You can see the water damage back there. And then even over in here, that drops off you know, a good inch, inch and a half. And then you can see additional damage back there where things just aren't, aren't jiving with all the water. I think most of the damage, water damage is gonna be on this half. I'm not sure yet. We're gonna rebuild the whole thing best we can. And I know we're gonna have damage through this wall. So we'll be taking this stuff out shortly as well to expose some of that. Like I mentioned earlier, I've gotta figure out how to remove this and all of this trim up here. That way I can unbolt everything underneath with the motors and everything under here. And then take this entire slide out, brace it up, put it on some, you got some damage there. Uh, put it on some saw horses and start rebuilding stuff. So that's what we're doing. Gives you a little bit of an idea of some of the damage. So this side is really compromised and you can see that's somewhat level. You can see how this piece here is really slanting towards the back where that's all just started coming down and all of this is just rotten. I need to figure out exactly what supports this and how it holds each other, uh, how it holds up. I need to undo or detach the electric slide motor and all this good stuff. Figure out exactly what I need to do to get the slide out so I can get some dimensions on what would actually fit back in here and try to get things squared up before I start building it back. So that's where we're at right now. So I slid this back in best I could with everything kind of ripping apart. And I was just looking behind this little piece of trim here at, they got some square head, whatever you want to call those square head fasteners that fix the slide out to this two by or whatever weird size it is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and remove all this trim all the way around. And I'm gonna basically take these off of the inside face of the slide so that when I undo the motor underneath, when I unbolt everything under there, um, if I can get some extra hands over here, we can take this whole unit and slide it outside the RV and start working on that. It'll also give me a chance to redo or replace the gaskets out there where I think a lot of the water was coming in. OK, 
Okay, I think I have those completely unbolted. Let's go ahead and see if we can pull these off and take a look at what we have. So that was towed in. That one's going to be as well. Okay, I've taken off all the boards that are on the face of the slide, which should allow me to get this thing out. Um, there they are stacked up with the rest of the junk in here. So a couple observations. I still need to get everything unbolted underneath where the motor is. The top of the slide is also this EPDM rubber membrane that probably needs to be replaced as well. Unfortunately, I had a bunch of scrap or excess left over when I did the roof that I threw away. So I don't have any of that, which would have been perfect. I didn't realize it. I wasn't paying attention. Whatever the case may be, I don't have it anymore. So I'm gonna have to order some or get another uh, material for that, but I'm sure I'll just end up ordering a small length of it if I can find it and throw that up there. So again, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get the motor and the mechanics unbolted under here. I have a couple of saw horses that I'm gonna to try to take this thing out and then lay it on uh, to give me room to kind of work on it as well as access the damage that's under here. I wanna repair that, which probably means this wall as well uh, while this is out. So I'm gonna to try to have a quick turnaround on that in a few days if possible, that's the goal. So the slide is about ready to come out. I just need a uh, pair of extra hands to give me a little backup. I got the saw horses and everything set up the best I can. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the sink and cabinets here, as well as the cabinets up top. I felt a little bit of soft paneling and wood up here, so we're gonna make sure all that's good to go. And I'm gonna get all this removed and that's gonna be the next thing on the list.